You can still plug in to the default mail client on your iPhone. You've got the multiple inboxes. I really, really love Gmail. I've been using it for as long as it's been around. It seems like over 10 years I've been using Gmail. So. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. Learn how to book meetings with billion dollar brands and take your company to the next level at email10k.com. I've sold a bunch with Gmail addresses and I talk about how you can sell and do your business without a website a lot. But if you really wanna take it to the next level, if you wanna be a professional, you need a website and you need a professional email address. So something like your name at yourdomain.com. For me, it's alex at x27marketing.com. And having the custom domain as your email really levels you up in terms of professionalism, helps you sell more, etc. Now, when it comes to email services, there are two main players in the industry. There is G Suite and Office 365. G Suite's owned by Google, Office 365 is owned by Microsoft. How are they different? That's what I wanna talk about in this video. We'll go through the pros and cons of each and maybe even pick a winner. So let's jump into it. This is G Suite versus Office 365. So if you're going after a professional email address, you might just use the domain that comes with your website. So for instance, you sign up with GoDaddy and they give you email hosting, but then you have to use their inbox. If you instead use one of these services, G Suite allows you to access your email via the Gmail app, which is amazing. And Office 365 comes with Outlook, which is Microsoft's app. And both of them also come with a bunch of other things. For instance, G Suite comes with access to Gmail, Google Drive, Sheets, Slides, Google Docs, like that entire thing that allows you to edit documents. And it lets you brand your Gmail inbox. You can put a custom logo up there in the corner. It just makes you look even more official. Microsoft has a very similar offering but with different names. They have Outlook, OneDrive, which is kind of like Dropbox storage, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Skype, and other Microsoft apps, which means that both of them are all-in-one tools for running the back end of your business. Both of them will allow you to create and share documents. Both of them give you an email inbox that you can play around with. And in general, they're pretty comparable, at least in terms of features. First, I'm an email guy, right? I send cold emails. That's my bread and butter. That's where we generate most of our clients for our businesses. So let's talk about the big thing. Let's talk about how the email inboxes compare. G Suite is Gmail. If you've ever used Gmail before, you'll know G Suite, it's the same interface. You can use the apps the same way and you can still plug in to the default mail client on your iPhone. You've got the multiple inboxes. I really, really love Gmail. I've been using it for as long as it's been around. It seems like over 10 years I've been using Gmail. So I love it. Now let's talk about Outlook. Outlook also has a full featured mobile app. It also has desktop apps. However, while the desktop app of Outlook is great and is one of Microsoft's main apps and has been for a very long time, the web app and the mobile app version of Outlook just really aren't there. Gmail is a thing of beauty. It's optimized fully, both the app and the web app are amazing. I also specifically love G Suite because when it comes to cold emailing, G Suite has a lot more tools that plug into it. Things like Yesware, Mailshake, and all of the sending tools that we use for our cold emails were built with G Suite in mind. Some of them have now started to add Outlook, but they're G Suite native, meaning they were built for Gmail and they work best on Gmail. So for that reason, for the email inbox, I'm gonna say G Suite wins. Now let's talk about pricing. Office 365 has three different pricing tiers and there's a break if you pay for the yearly, but let's talk monthly right now. You've got business essentials, which is $6 per month per user, the business edition, which is $10 per month per user, and the big package called business premium, which is $15 per month per user. So six, 10 and 15. And G Suite's pricing is basically the same. So they're competitive, and I assume if Microsoft goes up, G Suite's gonna go up, and it's good they're keeping each other in check. There's no monopoly here when it comes to pricing. So for pricing, it's a tie, they're both similar. Now let's talk file storage and sharing. Let's talk about the cloud. That's one of the main reasons people get apps like this. They wanna be able to store files in their Google Drive or in their OneDrive and share them with people. So let's talk about how that stacks up. G Suite starts out with 30 gigabytes of storage on the basic plan, and then the higher plans have one terabyte per user. 
which I think is pretty decent. And if you use either OneDrive or Google Drive, you should in theory be able to get by without Dropbox. Although we still also use Dropbox. So we're paying right now for G Suite and Dropbox. And I actually still like the file management of Dropbox better than G Suite and OneDrive. Office 365 offers a terabyte of storage on all its plans, including the basic, which if you buy the lowest tier, means Office 365 is more value for the money. And then if you use a Windows computer, OneDrive integrates very well with Windows and it kind of acts like Time Machine does on the Mac. You can back things up automatically. You can store files automatically. It's pretty easy to use. Google Drive has a similar program, similar functionality, both for Mac and for Windows. The winner here in terms of storage is Office 365. Hands down, they integrate better, especially if you're using a Windows computer and it's cheaper if you use the basic plan. And honestly, if you're already using something like Dropbox, switching to either G Suite or Office 365 will already give you a boost in storage for the money. Now let's talk about the apps. How are the apps? Well, G Suite comes with apps that we all know and love, meaning Google Docs, Sheets, Google Calendar, Gmail. If you're using a Google Pixel phone, that's all Google ecosystem, right? You can go there. Windows has the same apps, basically, but they're the Windows versions. So you've got Word and PowerPoint and Excel, those big brand names that we used to see all the time before Google destroyed them by coming up with free cloud options. So what do we think about? How do you compare these apps that have similar features? Well, G Suite is amazing at cloud storage. They were built for the cloud, for the internet. So if you're in Google Docs, you can have 10, 15 people in there editing the doc at the same time. There's no versioning. There's no need to save it and pass .doc files back and forth, but you can still download them as .doc or .pdf and share them the same way. For offline editing, can't get better than Microsoft Word. It lives on your desktop. It was built for desktop, was not built for the internet first. And so it's a good program. Google Docs also has offline capabilities, which gives it the ability to work without internet. If there was no internet, I would use Microsoft Word only. However, our team's fully remote. Our team uses the internet mostly. We do not have an office. And I love G Suite for that. I love how functional it is. I love sharing documents in it. And actually in our course, Email 10K, a lot of our scripts and a lot of those extra downloads are just hosted on our G Suite. And it makes it so easy because we can just go in there and edit the file at any time and it changes for everyone that has the course. Not the same if it was a Word doc. We'd have to go in and re-upload it every time. And let's talk about security. Both Google and Microsoft are pretty good when it comes to security. If I just go with my gut feel, I'd say Google probably has a better handle on it, but both of them are amazing enterprise companies that are very, very good at security. So I trust them both. They both have two-factor authentication, which means they'll text you if you want to log in, you have to verify with your phone. That's optional, but that is something that helps with security. And both will also email you if there's a suspicious login attempt. So if somebody from another country is trying to get into your account, you will see it. So which one's better? From a pricing point of view, they're about the same. Cloud storage is better on Office 365. For the apps, I like G Suite better. The ease of use, I actually think G Suite is made for ease of use versus Microsoft, who has always had an issue with making things straightforward and easy to use, versus Google, who seem to prioritize it. Collaboration is a little easier on G Suite. I think Hangouts and Meet are much more stable, much better apps than Skype. And security, they're about even. So, which would I recommend? I would say G Suite is the winner here. The pricing is a little bit higher if you want the storage but otherwise it's comparable. And if you work in a cloud-based company, you've got all of the editing, all the collaboration, the video chat tool is better. It works in Gmail, which has access to all of these plugins, especially if you're using anything that requires Gmail plugins, like you're sending cold emails. And you can do everything that Office 365 can do. You can pull your Google Docs down and they become Word Docs or PDFs. You can plug your Gmail account into the default mail apps. You can even plug it into Outlook. So in all, I think G Suite is superior. G Suite's got my recommend. Alex Berman's recommend official. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. If you want high paying clients without spending money on paid ads, you might wanna watch this. I'm Alex Berman and I've been able to grow a services business by over $1 million in revenue and get to work with billion dollar customers. For instance, you ever built a website for a restaurant? You might get $500. But if you build that same website for a financial services firm, they will pay you $50,000 for the exact same website. And that's what this presentation is all about. So click the link below, enter your details, and check out my presentation. It's already helped hundreds of business owners and even complete beginners. So again, make sure you click the link below and let me help you get started.
What do you think? Which app is the best, G Suite or Office 365? Let me know down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the subject. Subscribe for more reviews like this, and we also do business tutorial videos on how to improve your marketing, how to improve your sales, and take your company to the next level. We do videos three times a week. Like this video to encourage this type of content, and if you want any of our free downloads, you can check those out at the link below. Thanks for watching, I'm Alex Berman.